Okay, it's five to nine. Uh, the raised toilet seat just broke. Clips clean off. Now I gotta get to Home Depot before 10 and find another raised toilet seat. Wish me luck. Decorative Christmas. That was pretty cool. Just seen a guy from my building. Ah, is that toilet? We're almost there. How are you, Miss? I'm doing all right. I'm looking for a raised toilet seat for um, my mother. She's senior. She had a hip surgery, and we just broke hers like half an hour ago. I need to get the ones that sit on top of the toilet. I seen them online here, but I just can't find it. Oh yeah. We Do you know what I mean? You know, you know the ones you put on top so you can sit higher. Yeah. They said they're here in the store online, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. There's like 10 different ones to choose from. What? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, I can show you if you like. You are looking the seat, right? For the toilet. Yeah. How about this one? Yeah, miss, don't worry about it. Thank you very much. Fucking useless here. Fucking useless. Unbelievable. I know they're in the goddamn store. <laughs> You're gonna fucking, I knew this was gonna happen, but then again, I live in fucking Rexdale, so what can I fucking? All right, brace the shoppers. Oh my god, this is getting out of hand. All right, at shoppers, let's hope this goddamn works out. Thank you, sir. I asked for a raised toilet seat for a senior, and I got brought a bus. Like, come on. You fucking work here. This is what I needed. And it's here. I can't believe those ladies tried to just walk in front of me in line, like for no reason at all. Literally standing beside me, waiting forever for the lady to finish in front of us. Christ. I actually was smiling and had some, some banter, a little small talk. Her friend grabbed her and said, what are you doing? That gentleman was there first. The fuck's wrong with you people? Jesus Christ. That's right, you people. Fuck off. Ah. Oh. Get the hell out of here. I've had enough. Into the valley we go. Let's hope this toilet seat works. Looks a lot better than the one we have anyway. But we'll see when we get down there. So not used to this little car. I'm, I'm driving my aunt's Chrysler 200 right now. It's uh, got a regular... See, that's how spoiled we are with technology, eh? Every time I get in this car, it's like I don't know what to do because it doesn't have a fob. It's got a regular... All right, back home. Let's get this thing in. Mount it on the toilet. And then it's on down. Bastard, he's scratching away yeah. well on the, on the couch yeah little bastard he just came out there now fuck that got me all upset Last minute, try to go get a toilet. It's fine. It is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. It broke. It's happy the stores were open. Home Depot. Fucking idiots. I don't know why they have jobs there. Ridiculous. Off the shop. I've just seen the bullshit I went through there. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. I had to smoke this tube. Why are people so rude? Like, 
I just don't understand. Like, what possesses people to get to that level of giving up on life? I mean, I've had shit jobs. I've had no money. I've had lots of money. And I've been scraped off the fucking floor. But never have I hated life so bad that I act like that and treat people like Listen, that. man, I truly believe you gotta, no matter what you're doing, you gotta enjoy it and do it to the fullest. Whether it's a shit job or not. Because you gotta motivate yourself, right? If you go to work every day hating life, I promise you, you'll never get out of that job, you'll never get out of that hole. Because it's negative. It's all negative, right? You do got to do. Like, do it with a smile. Do it with pride. And do the best that job can possibly be done. You can get rich off anything. You can get rich off shoveling shit. If you love what you do, you'll find a way to make it happy, easier for you, and open the gates and maybe make something up and patent that motherfucker. You have to pay you millions to, to, to do a job. If you hate the fucking job, you hate, you're gonna hate your fucking life. You know? You gotta do what you love. Well, that's what I do. Do what I want. Like, fuck, man, I know shit's tough. I went back to school at 32. I walked into a fucking business class. Ah, I got a call coming in here. Sorry, guys. Hang yeah. on. When I went back to school, fuck me that first day. I'll never forget it. I'll, 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 I'll never forget it. Everyone stared at me. I walked in with a fucking biker leather coat, biker boots, hair down with half my fucking back, glasses, I'm always wearing sunglasses, big chain and like a ring on every fucking finger. Looked around at a bunch of kids in their mid fucking twenties, all with their little skinny fucking MacBooks. I don't know shit about computers at the time. I could barely use the Googles. Fucking goddamn internets, Jesus Christ. I sat down and pulled out a fucking pad of paper and a fucking pencil case and everyone just stared. <laughs> Fuck me, I had a goddamn flip phone for fuck's sakes. You know, a fucking smartphone. But you know what? Fuck, I got her done. Now I'm laughing about it. <laughs> now I'm on the internets, bitch. On the internets, on the internet. Somebody call the internets. Get a hold of the internets. <laughs> Call the Googles. The go <laughs> Fuck me on the Googles, Jesus. The internets. Ran from my fucking mother. Everything was the. Are you on the drugs? Are you on the cocaine? The co Are you on blow? How about you? I'm, not, I'm not doing blow, ma. No, I'm not doing blow. Are you on the weed? You one of them weed sniffers? You sniffing the weed? My mom calls cops coppers, like he's a fucking twenties gangster. Honey, the coppers are down the street. Be careful when you go out there, don't speed. Are y'all hearing this? This is crazy. Who throws poo? This is what I gotta deal with in my city. This guy's been running around for two days throwing shit on people. Here. Normal. Normal guy. What the fuck are you normal guy? That's your buddy. So again, Jack, you know a 23-year-old Toronto man now in police custody. Investigators telling me they don't believe there are any outstanding suspects. Telling me they believe the same individual was responsible behind all three attacks. Again, it is exam time here on the university campus. The students are very happy to get back Three to attacks of a gentleman throwing buckets filled with his own feces and urine on students and then running away into the wind. Can you imagine? Oh my god. Fuck me. What has this world come to? That's too much.